YouTube, it is what it is. I go by the name Emo, aka the Talented Footy, and I'm back with another video. Hope you guys are keeping good. Today, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be doing uh, chicken stew, Ethiopian inspired chicken stew. Let me put it that way. Uh, there's a meal that they call Toro Wat. I like it very much. Uh, and normally, I think uh, probably takes longer to cook and everything like that, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing it like a regular chicken stew, so it's just inspired by the meal, but it's not the actual meal. So, if ever there's any Ethiopian that's gonna be watching this, I'm not saying this is Doro Wat, I'm not saying this is your chicken stew, I'm saying it's inspired by the way you make your chicken stew. I'm gonna be using the ingredients that you use, which is uh, berberi, berberi, sort of like a, it's a chili powder spice. Uh, it's a chili spice chili spice and I'm gonna be using a lot of onions as well because that's what they use most of the time when they do their chicken stew so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna be having that with uh, probably mashed uh, mashed uh, broccoli yeah mashed broccoli and um, a little bit of cauliflower so stick around remember to like comment subscribe hola all right so over here i have three chopped onions uh together with uh, this uh, garlic and ginger i'm gonna fry them in the pot over here probably for about 25 minutes or with the ethiopian spice as well uh for about 25 minutes simultaneously i'm gonna be sealing this off in that pan over there and yeah i hope it'll work out uh let's see let's see how it goes some garlic, just about maybe a tablespoon and a half, uh, some oil, I don't know how much that is, but <laughs> just as long as you make sure it doesn't stick, you know, the, the onion doesn't stick, it should be enough to make sure that the onion doesn't stick. And now this is my Ethiopian spice, it's called Berberi. This is the Berberi. And uh, probably gonna do what? Uh, a lot. A lot, like as in maybe half a cup. Okay, a quarter of a cup. Okay, maybe a half a cup. No, a quarter of a cup. Okay, let me just stir them up. I think I need some more oil in there, otherwise it's gonna stick. So you just have to try to make sure you avoid the sticking. Ooh, my oil done. Okay, I'm gonna cover this. All right, uh, so here's our chicken. I just uh, put on some salt and pepper, and in it goes into the pan. Yeah, I think it's a lot more than it can fit in the pan. Okay. There we go. So I'm just gonna keep on turning this up until our onions are ready in here. So I don't know, I'm just gonna keep on stirring them up until it gets to probably, I don't know, maybe 10 more minutes. For 10 more minutes before I can add this on. Okay.
some reason I think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. About what matters at the basics. So I'm doing the basics and I'm just gonna cook this in a lot of onion soup. So that's what makes the difference in terms of the taste. Alright, I need to keep on taking this one. Alright. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh. Okay, I believe uh, the meat is now sold. Um, I just have to transfer it from here to there. And uh, over here, everything still looks good. Okay, yeah. Uh, so what I did, I just added, like, you know, not so much of this in there. And right now, let me transfer. Look at those pieces. They're looking good. Just gonna stir them in, get them nicely mixed up, and then after that, I'll probably add uh, maybe maybe two glasses of water. It was starting to get sticky at the bottom, but it's not that bad. Uh, so that's why I need water right now. That's two full cups of water. I think, uh, yeah, the rest, uh, I just have to wait for this, uh, for the water to go down. And uh, probably maybe come and take, um, sort of like check the salt, and then we'll take it from there. But yeah, that's about it. It's done. I don't have to interfere anymore. Unless if I do have some hams, I can maybe probably bring them in a bit later. Oh, plus this the tomato paste are because i haven't put in any tomato or anything like that actually let me put it in now okay so there's the tomato paste it's like what cut of a section uh because yeah, that was the only one that i had remaining but it's fine and i'm just gonna let this cook I'm just gonna let this cook I'm thinking it's probably going to take probably an hour and a half, maybe an hour, maybe an hour, an hour and a half the most. 
Um, yeah, there's another thing. If I had butter, I would add in some butter in there as well. But I don't have. Like I said, I don't have the ingredients to do the original one. And in any case, I don't know how to do the original one. But I'm going to learn how to do it one day. Okay, guys. Uh, so, um, I think it's after 40 minutes right now. Uh, the meat is already tender. And... Um, I just want the onions to dissolve and I'm just gonna add in a little bit of salt uh, excuse my thing for holding the salt it's only this one otherwise the other salt that I have is this and it's yeah but I can't be able to so I'm just gonna add in just a little bit not too much yeah that's about enough and um, I'm gonna leave this at one so it's almost done actually so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at a lower heat uh, very sticky at the bottom unfortunately I haven't been doing my job but it's not bad but it's not bad at all uh, so I'm gonna leave this for the next 20 minutes at the heat of one while I prepare the broccoli and the cauliflower broccoli I still have to make it into a mesh and then the cauliflower I'm just gonna leave it as it is oh by the way I forgot to add in the mixed herbs so this is uh, the mixed herbs thing I'm not sure what it has in there uh, but it's most of uh, your common mixed herbs your common herbs so it comes it comes in this and um, just gonna add it on for flavor there we go that's about it and then and, um, just mix this Hey, come back. Where are you going? Yeah. Uh, I think this is almost done. Uh, my only problem is that it should have, you know, the longer you wait, as the more the onion dissolves. So it hasn't like really dissolved, but it's still okay. Mmm, very soft. Mmm, man. Okay, so that's my broccoli and my cauliflower. I'm just gonna put it on the stove for about probably maybe what around 10 minutes. I don't want to overcook them. And um, yeah, that's about it. For about 10 minutes, it should be good. Okay guys, uh, so in under less than 10 minutes, uh, this is how it looks. As you can see, this is very green. That's how you want it to look. You don't want it to look uh, any other color less than this. So it means it's still crispy, a little bit at least. Okay, not so crispy, but it's crispy, a little bit. And uh, so now these ones are the ones that I'm gonna put in there and then I'm gonna make mesh out of them. Uh, it really works out very well. I've enjoyed it the last time I did it um, It actually tastes better than mashed potato But yeah, just take my word for it up until you try it. Let me know. Let me know what you think of it Okay, fuck. I think um, a bit overcooked Shouldn't be crumbling like this Anyways Still not bad Okay this is hot. Don't try it at home. Don't use your hands. I just don't have anything else that I can use to take them out for now. Okay. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Last bit. Yeah, that's it. Let's see, we have this over here. 
as you can see it's not really overcooked it's not at all so but next time i know uh don't get it to 10 minutes get it to about five minutes or six minutes the most but it's still good okay then we have this in there and uh what do i do i'm gonna season it just a little bit with uh some salt i should be adding pepper okay i found this i have a cube if i had more i was gonna put in some more probably if i had milk i was gonna put in some milk as well and um yeah we're ready ready to go okay let me let me just add in some pepper before okay so i added the pepper black pepper by the way and uh i'm just gonna add in just a little bit of this uh the spices i know you can't see it the lighting is very bad from that side uh just a little bit so remember these that little block of butter in there but they are moist as well so uh they're ready to be blended okay there we go I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Otherwise, I'm gonna mess it. I just want you to take a look at this, how it looks like. Okay, I don't know if you can see the potions, but it really does look like Dorowat. It looks like the Ethiopian, Ethiopian stew. Uh, it smells so good, it smells so good. All right, let me, let me get back to dishing. Okay, so this is my foundation. Can you see what I did? So I've got that. This is the consistency that you're looking for. It should be like this. It shouldn't be any much more smoother than this because otherwise you're gonna have that ice cream, mashed broccoli type of a thing happening. So this is good. It tastes so good. You, you're not gonna believe me. Like uh, I think probably the black pepper, uh, the little bit of salt that I put in and the butter that I put in. Oh, plus I put in um, the mixed abs so it works out so good so i'm just gonna dish this ones over there okay oh man look at that look at that look at that look at that i can't wait to dig in this is just calling for me i'm not gonna use a fucking knife or anything <laughs> probably gonna use my hands no i'm joking Obviously, I'm gonna need a spoon for this. And the rest is my hands. Yeah, look at it. Mm, yeah. All right, so that's my food over there. You know, I actually started this video very late and I knew I was gonna have a problem with the lighting, so I'm sorry about that. Um, because it's evening right now so but anyway uh let's just do the testing let's taste uh lighting is bad okay i'm gonna go straight into the mesh broccoli with the gravy which smells so good by the way mm, mm. Mm, mm. yeah Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let me not make noise. Mmm. <laughs> Can you hear the crunch? It's still there. So it's good. Plus the mesh. Mmm. Mm-mm. You've never had something good as this. Look at the chicken, how it looks. It changes color. It's sort of like red. A dark red. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. See how soft it is. Really well cooked. Nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You can finish this in two bites. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, win! Okay. Mm. Mm. Move on to the thigh. Allow me some thigh. Okay. Definitely recommend this. I do recommend this. If you're watching the video, please just try to take the instructions as I did. I promise you, you'll be able to tell me that actually you were right. This is this is very good. Love it. Love it. I know I'm giving myself a pat on the back, but yeah. Mm. 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 See, mm. Mm. everything, everything on this plate is so good. Everything. Okay, you know what? The other thing is that maybe the onions, because I can still see the onions, with the way, let's say Ethiopians do it. Uh, the onion has to be dissolved, like perfectly dissolved. So because I only put it on the stove for what two hours, maybe the most. Whereas they would put it on the stove for about eight hours. <laughs> so also I see that there's probably no need for tomatoes. I don't think they use tomatoes, but I'll go back and research. Uh, and probably do uh, still talk mm. mm, 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 mm. mm. Definitely doing this again. I don't see. Okay, at least I have enough for even tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm gonna share this with my friend. You don't wanna eat alone. You don't want to be the one telling the people, oh no, this, it actually tastes very good, but they haven't tasted it. So I'm going to share with somebody yesterday, tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see you. Lucky one. Mm. 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 A drum still is done. Definitely done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my nose. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. Not too much, but just a little bit. Just to keep your nose entertained. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh, <laughs> I was licking it off. I thought it was off. I thought the phone was off. Okay, I'm just cleaning it. Fell into my food. I know. Food is so good, I had to lick it off. Ah. Okay, let's continue. You see how much is left? Almost done. Almost done. Actually, I'm done. So, YouTube, it is what it is. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, thank you to the new subscribers, by the way. So, thank you. Hope you enjoy the content. And I hope I can do some more, something much more exciting, more than this. But I do have some ideas already, so it's fine. Um, I just, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Probably, if you can, share the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, you just bumped into it. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let me hear from you guys. All right. Cheers.